everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Ines and in today's video I'll be sharing with you guys five things I believe artists should avoid I feel like these things are more common in beginners as intermediate and advanced artists should probably you know not do this as much because of experience we join and yeah let's go straight into the video so my first tip is comparison stop comparing yourself to artists that you see online a lot of these artists have 10 years plus experience in their hands so obviously they're going to be better than you if you're a beginner if they are worse then that's a problem <laughs> years of experience and practice and study definitely makes you better so you, it's better instead of getting jealous of artists that you see online or your um, or your colleagues just focus on your own skill and focus on how you can develop yourself and understand your interests because there's so many talented artists and artists tend to do specific things so just try and understand what you're interested in and focus on developing your skill in that interest and yeah you will definitely be a superb artist that everybody will be envious of and wowed by <laughs> very very soon so my next point is stop having high expectations for yourself just because an artist can do this thing that you think is so advanced and so beautiful you shouldn't expect yourself to be able to do those things in an instant a lot of these artists take very very long time before they can reach that level of wow how are they doing this so you need to focus on developing your skills like i said my first point and lowering your expectation if your drawing is not that good just accept it and work on how you can improve that drawing and how you can improve future drawings and you can also look back at your old drawings because i'm sure when you do you will actually realize that you've improved a lot so looking back at your old drawings will actually encourage you to you know build your courage to get better and yeah just just appreciate other people's art and work on your own basically <laughs> and don't expect yourself to be good immediately it's going to take a while there's nothing you can do about it that's how any kind of job works if you're a chef you need to learn how to boil egg before you start doing all these expensive sous chef things so my next point now is very 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 common in art in beginner artists even more than professional artists some beginner artists their brushes collection is like the biggest you can find because they keep collecting brushes that they see from anywhere they just collect 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 because they believe by the way collecting brushes is my next point the thing that you should definitely avoid stop collecting brushes guys stop just stop it brushes is not going to improve your skill it's not going to take you anywhere in fact if you're focusing on brushes it can actually slow your pace because you're focusing on the wrong thing so just stop collecting those brushes i feel like i should start you know i should start making custom brushes so i can sell because you guys always fall for those custom brushes don't you anyways you can start with default brush brushes then advance yourself and then build up your collection of brushes over the years but you need to understand how to use hard brush soft brush and medium hard brush even if it's just the hard brush which i recommend that you should learn how to master the hard brush before you start going to learning how to master other brushes learn how to master the hard brush and then smudge brushes as well and i feel like that will elevate that so much and then you will know how to use those custom brushes and those stamps even though i'm not a big fan of stamps but once you know how to use the defaults i think using the custom brushes that you buy is definitely going to make a big difference so start with the basics start small before you go big basically that's my point for today so my next point is avoid overload of information like know and understand what you need for the specific skill you're trying to improve on if you are going to be in art school then that you already have that sorted for you because the curriculum is going to help you you know build up those skills but if you are learning independently you need to know how to structure yourself your time to do things i would say my first recommendation the number one thing you need to know how to use is your tools Exper if you are a traditional artist experiment with paint brushes paints mixing colors together just you don't have to do anything practical you just have to experiment with your tools same goes for digital as well if you are using photoshop you, you need to know how to use photoshop if you're using procreate you need to learn how to use procreate first before you start drawing on procreate i didn't really not learn how to use procreate because i already knew how to use photoshop and procreate is so much easier to use so i could catch things very very quickly but yeah there are so many tutorials online on 
um, how to use these tools that are available for free on YouTube, even on online um, platforms as well. So that's that's the first thing you need to learn how to do. Then the second thing I believe you need to learn how to do is know how to know your basics, know your basic fundamentals, know perspective, structure and form, color theory, um, mixing colors together, just using your brushes correctly just understand those fundamentals then you can go on to other things experimenting with other things i'll say in my opinion after you know how to use after you know those basic fundamentals then you can think of um studying portraits if it's portraits you're interested in studying landscapes if that's what you're interested in before you start going to the more experimental um aspect of it which is like stylization so yeah that's how we we'll put that in order but obviously those others will those other will have groups as well but i don't want to go much into that in this tutorial in this video because it's going to make the video extra long but if you would like a tutorial on how to structure yourself as a beginner artist i'm more than willing to do that and yeah with that i'll go to my next point which is save your money on tools just because you see artists online using all these expensive tools like iPad Pro, Photoshop, or these big expensive tablets, it doesn't mean you have to buy it as well. That's what they use because they have to use it to make money. It helps them to maybe draw faster. It holds a lot of storage and stuff like that. So it doesn't really help you um, improve your skill. It might help you if you have maybe specific tools that are not on other programs so that might be beneficial for you but it's not going to help you learn how to draw basically that's what i'm getting at it's not going to learn, help you learn how to draw i started using sketchbook pro actually i started using photoshop because i was at uni when i started learning how to draw um portraits so i was using photoshop then i started using sketchbook pro which i was completely satisfied with although i had problems with my computer slowing down all the time because my laptop was not that good but i was still able to draw some pretty iconic drawings some of my favorites i'll show you guys right now i was still able to draw some of my favorite drawings there then i felt like oh i'm making money from art i can you know invest in my tools spend more money on tools that i need and that is when i got my ipad it's not even an ipad pro i got like the ipad 2019 my first point comparing stop comparing you can compare but be careful while you're comparing. If you're comparing to see how you can improve your skill, then it's a good idea. I do that all the time, actually. I don't know if it's that healthy, but I do that all the time. And you can also, but if you're comparing out of jealousy, then say no, no, just stop. If you feel like you're getting jealous of artist work that you see online, then stop looking at artist work and just focus on yours and focus on watching tutorials and courses and stuff like that. That would definitely, watching this kind of videos, motivational videos, courses, tips and tricks, definitely recommended if you are getting jealous of other artists because you actually find out that they have their own struggles as well. Second point, stop having high expectations. It can take you years and years and years before you become the level that you want to be or before you become completely satisfied with your drawings. So just be patient and know that you're not going to be an expert overnight. My second point, stop collecting brushes, guys. Learn how to use the simple ones first. Learn how to use the art brush first. When you do, then collect all the brushes you want. But you can also, instead of collecting brushes, you can also save those coins, those money on courses and tutorials. You will actually find out that a lot of professional artists use just one brush. So there's no need to collect. Unless you want to maybe add textures to your drawings, then you might have to collect some brushes for that. Avoid collecting so much data. It's not going to help. Because if you start look, if you watch tutorials that are for advanced level artists, you'll be so confused because you you have skipped so many steps. It's like you're reading a book and then you go to chapter hundred. You don't know what chapter one is about. You're just confused. So why not start from the basics? Start from learning all the small things, even though the basics might be a bit boring or not very interesting. You still have to learn how to do those things to get better before you are now able to create those pretty stuff I see on Instagram all the time or on Pinterest. <laughs> and my last point is save your money on tools. Rather than tools, like I would always suggest, if you have the money to spare, buy tutorials, buy courses over tools. But if you have more than enough money to spare, then you can spend your money on the good stuff, like iPad Pro. You can spend your money on a good computer. But if you are struggling to gather money, you don't have to. You know do that you can spend your money on cheap tablets and use you know like your computer at home your laptops at home that you have already 
and just manage and make that work at least temporarily then if you enjoy drawing and you see that you're getting good then you can spend more money and invest more money on like the expensive stuff because at the end of the day you can spend money on like an expensive tool an ipad pro and find out that you don't actually enjoy drawing as much as you thought you would then you just have that expensive item in your hands but you're not really using it so you use what you have which is maybe like a laptop then get a cheap drawing tablet online that's what i did personally i started with a cheap drawing tablet on amazon for like 30 dollars so it's not I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't trying to spend money, guys. I used a gift drawing tablet, a free program, and started drawing. And I think that's all I have for today's video. I hope you found this somewhat informative, educative, and maybe entertaining as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. And yeah, that's all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye. I hit record a jump, you can't ignore it.